So here we are in Victoria Park in Leicester, the UK. Last Friday, I watched Jerome Powell's speech at Jackson Hall, and it got me thinking how these big decisions impact our everyday lives. Have you noticed any changes in your spending habits recently? Powell's speech highlights how the Fed's latest decisions could be the difference between a thriving economy and one that slows down. Earlier, the Fed's approach was like a rigid, um, disciplined ballroom dance, a focus on precise steps to avoid inflation missteps. Now, they are switching to a more fluid salsa, if you want, emphasizing the rhythm of the job market. This shift isn't just theoretical. It can influence the stock market too. A strong job market could uh, boost consumer spending, lifting retail and tech stocks, for example, while a, a strict focus on inflation might have kept those gains in check. You know how uh, they always talk about expectations in economics, right? Inflation is expectations are a big deal, and here is why. The idea that if you want to keep inflation expectations in check or anchor, as they often say, is very important. Think of uh, inflation expectations like a weather forecast. If everyone rushes to buy supplies before a storm, it can cause shortages and drive prices higher, just like panic buying uh, fuels inflation. Do you remember the toilet paper uh, during the uh, COVID pandemic? Yeah. So yes, so this panic not only drives inflation, but can also make bonds less attractive, as rising inflation expectations often lead to higher bond yields and decreasing prices, impacting their value. No, the opposite can happen. Where are you going? Okay, here is my son. So where are you going? I am doing a video. No, the opposite can happen. Low yields and high bond prices, which is what I'm waiting. But guess what? If everyone starts consuming more today, expecting prices uh, will rise tomorrow. It can drive up demand and cost prices to increase even further. Workers will demand higher wages, companies will raise prices to cover the costs of the higher labor. And then you get inflation spiral. You know how it, uh, all it goes. If inflation expectations remain well anchored, again, so the theory goes, then this behavior can take root. But what if inflation expectations don't stay anchored? The ripple effects could be massive. I know it can be nerve wracking when prices spike, but we all been through uh, like this before, right? We know the Fed's watching and we are kind of conditioned to trust the Fed. So there's no need to panic. Actually, the Fed says something about that and they have now the power of decreasing interest rates if we have problems with deflation or if we have any, any other trouble. We know uh, that um, the Fed will be there, so we, now, we know it's just a blip, just like we saw with the market's quick recovery after the last month's inflation scare. Do you believe the Fed will keep things under control in the new few months? I do, set the disparities of the debt levels. That is another big topic. 